I became a traveler just after college, living abroad and taking any job to keep me on the road. That's me working a cheeky donut shop in Australia, teaching English in Vietnam, and becoming a tie-dye instructor in the Rocky Mountains. And that one time, I had to hitchhike through New Zealand after some French girls quite literally kicked me to the curb. Yeah, my 20s were one hell of an adventure. For the past three years, I've been on a journey living off-grid full-time in my truck camper. I'm currently in Central Oregon for the summer, and like usual, things never go to plan. It rained last night. It's still kind of drizzly out here a little. It's drying up. My plan today is I want to go check out this lake. The lake is like right there and I didn't manage to get there yesterday. But this morning I was like, I'm going. I, it was also not great weather and so I thought, oh, maybe the weather is gonna clear up and then it didn't. It was just kind of overcast and cold. That's not too bad though, is it? I think we should go check out the lake. It always takes me a minute to get going. I've gotta put my tools up from working on my diamond plate yesterday and get the slide out in, put things away so that they don't fall and break. It's never just get in the truck and go. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. This is a nice lake. Check it out. The reason I know about this lake, um, you know, I'm a bad local. I don't do much research. When I come back to Central Oregon, it's my time to chill. It's my time to make stuff. And I'm not doing a bunch of research on the area. Like it's a place that I can just breathe. And I know how things work. I know how to be a nomad in this town. But I was actually at a grocery store and I was telling the lady in the meat section about one of my favorite lakes in the area and it was Subtle Lake. The lake is a bit warmer. All of these are alpine lakes. They're really cold but that one's a bit warmer and she was like but have you been to Scout Lake and I was like no and now I've been to Scout Lake and I see why she likes it. Apparently it's a more local only lake and it's smaller. I mean, there's no locals here this morning, but yeah, it's a nice, way quiet, smaller lake. I filmed this a couple weeks ago and this time last year, it was so warm and it's still pretty chilly, but I bet these lakes will be warm and packed in no time. It's really nice to be here on a weekday. You get to enjoy the place for yourself. 
Wow, the sun's coming out after, I mean, my camper was all shaking last night. I'm editing this video and I googled how many legs are in Central Oregon. The number shocked me. There are 150 high mountain lakes just in Central Oregon. I recommend going to Elk Lake as well because they have a restaurant there and live music on the weekends. It's really nice. You can rent a pontoon boat. Me and my friends did that last summer highly recommend but the lakes near sisters Oregon are a little bit warmer from my experience subtle lake that's the one that I went to last year and it was a bit warmer one thing I forgot to mention is mosquitoes bring bug spray because Sparks Lake in particular is full of mosquitoes and you want to keep your screen door shut at night for sure but I may be on the river more this summer than the lakes, and here's why. I'm so excited to share this. I got a river surfboard. I went, I'd, it's hard for me to show the full thing on screen, but I'll be giving it my best shot to learn how to river surf this summer. I've got a nice, easy foam board. I don't think that it's gonna be easy, but I'm all about a challenge. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. This one was a bit short, but whatever. Okay, see you next time. Bye.